What is up YouTube? I'm Ben Plays Games guys and today I'm back bringing you another MW3 Zombies Loadout video. This time I'm bringing you the best SMGs that you can currently use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Before we get into the video I'd love it if you guys could drop a like and subscribe to the channel as this really helps me out. I also stream regularly on my Twitch which is in the description. Finally my good friend Tom also known as Tuxy has also helped me with this video similar to the last one but this time he dropped the gun to me as I haven't actually maxed this gun out yet but you do need it maxed to make this build um, so make sure to show him some love as well his links are also in the description but without further ado let's get into the best SMG currently available in MW3 Zombies. This is the WSP Swarm and with the loadout on your screen now this becomes the best SMG loadout you can probably use in Zombies right now. As for the loadout you want to be using the 7MW Canted Laser, the Sonic Suppressor S Muzzle, the 100 round drum magazine, the Marauder Rear Grip, uh, Marauder Grip Rear Grip, sorry, and finally the WSP Akimbo Brace Stock. This is the reason you need to max out the level on the gun because that option only unlocks at 27. So make sure you grind out this gun first before you're building this loadout, as otherwise, you won't be able to complete the loadout. Getting into the pros and cons of this loadout, the pros are that the gun has an extreme amount of ammo in each mag, which is 100. This then obviously becomes 200 when you pack a punch the gun, with a reserve of 800 ammo. The guns are also insanely good at mowing down hordes of zombies in any tier, providing that you've upgraded and pack a punched in each tier as you go. They're also great against mimics and manglers. Finally, the guns are also really good against mercenaries and other human AI enemies. So they're great for you if you're going into missions which require you to take down camps, strongholds and even the big fortress as well on the hill. The cons of this loadout are basically they do shred through their ammo. Um, so it's good that MW3 Zombies there is ammo caches all over the map so that's not too much of an issue. And they also aren't the best against disciples, mega bombs, and also contract bounties. They still do great damage to these uh, two mini bosses and bounties. However, there are better options out there, such as melee weapons and also the Lockwood 680, which we actually covered in the last video. That'll be on the end screen of this video if you guys want to go and check that one out. Now, finally, let's get into some gameplay. First, we'll start in tier one, and as you can see at this point, I'd pack a punch the gun to tier one, and I'd also equipped a dead white ammo mod. As you can see in the gameplay, I was mowing down normal zombies with ease, and I also managed to do a bounty contract despite the guns not actually being the best option for taking on bounties. We still managed to take one out in this clip, which was very nice um, because it does prove that they can take out the bounties. Like I say, though, there is there is those better options out there. Um, these guns are basically the best for mowing down your hordes and hordes of zombies. If you want to go train in tier 3, these are the guns to do it with. Um, and also, like I said earlier, your mercenaries and your other human AI enemies like your... I mean, the, the ones that always get me are the ones that run at you. Um, recon is it. They run at you and just smack you. And they're, they're, they're so annoying, but these guns are great at taking those out. So it's always worth having these, these SMGs on your back. Um, Moving on, we're going to skip tier 2 for now and we're going to get into some tier 3 gameplay where I'm basically showcasing just how good these guns are against hordes of zombies. Even in tier 3, as you can see in the background, they are shredding the zombies with ease. They're a great gun to hold, uh, potentially as a secondary weapon maybe, just to clear up zombies as they're great at taking out basic level like sort of normal zombies um, they're a brilliant choice of weapon as well for doing infected strongholds and nests because obviously the the nests only spawn zombies and then the strongholds do spawn mimics um, but they also spawn a shit ton of zombies so these guns are great for taking out those I believe I, I, I can't remember if I put it in the video but we did actually take out a tier 3 nest incredibly fast with these guns uh, as like I say it is pretty much their speciality um, Obviously, you do get mostly zombies, like I say, and the occasional mimic or two, but no problem at all for the swarms. Finally, we get back to some tier 2 gameplay, as in the game that I got the gameplay for this video, we chose to exfil in tier 2. And as you can see in the background, the, guy, uh, the guns are basically having no trouble shredding through everything in their path. And this, I'm pretty sure it did include disciples, if I remember correctly. So, again, they, they, they can surprise you these guns can they can maybe do things that they're not even meant to do um, But definitely guys jump into some Modern Warfare 3 zombies give them a go yourself Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the swarms I think they're great and they're very fun to use because of that large ammo count You just feel like you're mowing down shit tons of zombies at a time It makes you feel really like, like, like a badass or whatever you know it's, it's cool um, But yeah let me know what you guys think if you do happen to try them after watching this video 
Unfortunately, that is it for today, guys. Another short video for you guys. This time on one of the best SMG loadouts you can currently use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video. If you have, make sure to subscribe and like for more Zombies content. Remember, I stream regularly as well over on my Twitch, so make sure to give that a follow. And also, finally, make sure to show Tom, or known as Tuxi, uh, some love on his links also in the description below as he dropped the guns to me because I don't have the Swarm Max yet, but I really wanted to make a video on them just because of how good they are. So big shout out to Tom as well. Thanks everybody for watching. I've been Men Plays Games and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.